Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to build SQL Server 2022 DBA real-time home lab in 10 minutes. Uh, for this, we need to uh, have virtualization support uh, in BIOS if you are using uh, like Intel uh, CPU and uh, 12 GB RAM or more than that and 2.5 GHz processor and 500 GB hard disk if you are SSD uh, if you are having so that you can experience like the fastness. And that coming to software requirement, you need 64 bit OS other 7 yard or 8 10 so the the how to maintain windows 7 uh, 17 point all this build version okay send so, the key uh, key was provided in the google drive link as well uh, here uh, let me explain our environment i am having four machines one is active directory and remaining all our sql server member servers only and here uh, like uh, i am having 2 gb and 4 gb and why i have given the 4 gb here is uh, i am facing one issue in the replication that uh, the, the process has been 99% uh, has been waiting and waiting for the server i am getting this error uh, because i have troubleshooted and everything and everything is fine but after i later i came to know that uh, it is suffering with memory crunch so i upgraded to from 2 gb to 4 gb so that's how the issue uh, got resolved so that's the reason this i am using a node one as a main main uh, primary one that's the reason i have encrypted as a 4 gb so if you want if you are having memory you can keep that 20 gb okay sorry 2 gb and 2 gb and 2 gb windows 12 abc and bridge this is maintenance uh, like 50 adapter 1 2 3 and the subnet mask this is the gateway and gateway is very same for all the one dns and dns is the same thing okay and uh, the to all these things and this is the network adapter for heartbeat purpose okay so this is the configuration that i have used virtual machines now once you install that the uh, vmware workstation 17.5 build this version so you can go to the google drive and download all these virtual machines and kept in a folder so once you download on once you downloaded all these files you just right, right click or select that you have to just click extract to dc so right click you have to do uh, for each and everything so uh, extraction will take time and so that's the reason to avoid that i already uh, unpro i mean i already unzipped and everything and kept in the db drive folder so once you install this uh, open your uh, virtual machine uh, like uh, go to d drive select lab select dc select vm click ok okay so like this you have to open everything lab node 1 done node 2 node 3 okay so you have to open like this and let's finish all of this okay once it is done so here the, this is the dc and everything uh, everything i have configured and everything so this is like i have installed kms which is auto renewal for every 190 days and so the all our development developed uh, named um, developed default instance only for all this log shipping and mirroring and replication always are is all everything is configured you just ready to use like a plug and play like okay so so whenever you restart the please check the dns of the any uh, active directory it will set back to the uh, 20 to 127.0.0 like 0 to the look back address so just keep on this i okay so if it is change you just change to the one dot uh, like down 0 dot dot 50 and the global administrator is slash abc and administrator and password for every global local admission is one to three only and all are def default instance only okay now you just come down first uh, open in the in the chrono chronological order first power on the virtual machine so once it is started then only you have to start with the node one why because so the cpu will get high and it will get struck okay so that's the reason once it is started okay see now the uh, fan speed is getting very high so dc so just not type here uh, one two three
so now it is on now you can turn on node 1 now node 2 So make sure that uh, login everywhere in the global administrator to avoid uh, like uh, permission kind of issues. Otherwise, you can create uh, uh, one global administrator user account. You can use uh, that if you want. So for this we are using the practical purpose. Then you can uh, utilize this one. Okay. So done. This is also done. So now come to DC here. Uh, so whenever you restart or anything, just uh, check this adapter. So why? Because uh, this is a something uh, loophole or drawback in the VMware virtual which machines which are installed in. See, okay, now it's good. Whenever restart, I mean to say, okay. Now before doing anything, you check the communication, like. Um, ping node 1 yeah it's pinging node 2 yeah it's pinging node 3 so now uh, issues got I mean no issues so I am connecting to node 1 yeah I have connected node 2 So it is done. Now I'm going to node 2. See, always on standard mirroring is everything is configured. Okay, so always on is also configured. I think uh, go to management, go to always on here. This is primary show dashboard. So everything is good here. Now see uh, for SQL uh, I mean, since we are a develop uh, like database administrator we might see that uh, issues network issues are down issues in cluster uh, so don't worry about that so like why because uh, we uh, we suspended the virtual machines right so some somewhat it will uh, show some errors don't worry at the order okay why because uh, it is like uh, we have manually shut down and uh, open that right that's the reason we got these issues okay and so don't worry about that and make sure uh, for practical purpose we are not like in the real time we need to troubleshoot each and everything error okay so for now I'm just resetting then everything so that uh, the cluster look somewhat healthy so this is AG configured uh, okay and so come to node replication right is branch replication monitor so everything is configured mirroring is configured always on is configured uh, like cluster is configured like all okay uh, not failover cluster normal uh, for always on in the back end cluster it will be there uh, that cluster is configured so everything is configured so you just tested whatever the experiment uh, you need okay so if you need like uh, always on uh, cluster as well uh, you, you just need uh, add the space so that uh, you can create one more hard disk and share the hard disk to the core uh, like in the to the cluster and install sql server in that like um, so that uh, because we uh, because we don't use regularly uh, always on 
trusted instances so to uh, like we our aim is like the lab should be simple and should be uh, should be consume less space so that's the reason we have almost covered all the practicals and everything so you just uh, go through that and everything and uh, utilize the lab as most of the guys will charge uh, like 5000 rupees for this lab but as a tech user and tech person we are giving this to free i hope you will may like our initiation you just comment your email id and your opinion uh, like uh, so that uh, we will forward that link as well otherwise you can find this link in the in our description box as well thank you bye